What's up everybody? This is the 12 days of collectibles tag which was started by my good friend Cat D. Definitely make sure that you check out her channel. Um, I like doing tag videos every once in a while because it does give me an opportunity to tag other YouTubers, especially people that might be starting out on YouTube and people that may not have a huge following yet. You know, I kind of shine some light on them. And then uh, this particular tag, I like it because, you know, hopefully I will get to show you all some figures that you may not be aware of and, you know, know some things that you might consider trying to pick up yourself. And uh, to be clear here, um, this is really not, I mean, she calls this a 12 days of collectibles tag. It's not all, all about things I'm trying to get for Christmas. It would be impossible to do that. You know, so, um, this is really more so about things that I might try to get into my collection eventually. You know, I just want to be clear about that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it here. So for starters, the blue, there's the blue chrome Batman, the black chrome Batman. Both of these went very quickly, very difficult to get your hands on. The, the prices on them, um, you know, definitely they're, they're up there. So I don't know if I ever actually will get one of these. It would be nice to eventually find one. And, um, you know, some people kind of worry about Funko basically um uh, going under eventually or or really you losing popularity doesn't bother me i mean i don't you know no ill will towards the company but if that were to ever happen i would just go ahead and get the pops that i could never afford before because i'm still gonna like pops you know because i just genuinely like the figure genuinely like the figures it's not all about the value for me so yeah if that ever happened um you know these would be some figures that i would try to get you know at a cheap price but um as of right now with those prices that they they go for yeah i just don't see it happening but you know it would be nice additions to the collection so I do have the other Monkey King figures. I have the original one. I have the Freddy Funko version. I have the all white porcelain version. Then I have the black and silver one. So um, I would kind of like to complete the Monkey King figures. And um, they have all, going from left to right here. They have the rock version, the black and gold, which is really nice looking one, looking one there. And then the yellow version as well. So um, I'm not in a big rush to get these. It's just something I would like to complete eventually. And um, I almost look at these like collectively like a grail for me. So yeah, I am hoping to get them all, you know, eventually. So this is something that's actually been um, kind of sitting in my Amazon cart for the longest time. I've had it saved. I just never got around to getting it. And then well, another reason that I haven't gotten this uh, Scorpion uh, bobblehead, which is by Mezco, is because the price keeps wildly fluctuating. I've seen it uh, like listed very low and I didn't really have um, money. My money was kind of tied up at the time. And then the price has jumped up again recently. It's probably because of the popularity of Mortal Kombat right now with the you know, a lot of people are still playing the latest game and just in general, you know, there's the Funko Pops and everything. So, yeah, uh, I'm kind of waiting for the price to go down again, just to be completely honest, because I really do like the look of this bobblehead and I hope to get it sooner than later. So this is another item that's been sitting in my Amazon cart for the longest time, but I would kind of prefer to uh, see it and, and be able to know that I, I for sure want it. And um. Also, I mean, even though you don't really collect, I'm, well, I don't know how other people do it. I do go ahead and take out my medals die cast figures from the boxes. I don't really worry about that so much, but I don't know. I still would kind of like to make sure that the figure is in good condition. You know what I'm saying? So I do like this Hulk Buster and that little mini Iron Man there. I think that it actually um, can go inside of the Hulk Buster. If anybody actually owns this or has seen it, you know, you can confirm that for me. But I want to say I've seen the head lifted up before and the little Iron Man actually inside of there. So yeah, this would be very cool to get eventually. I have never seen this in a store though. And um, the price on Amazon is, uh, that's another price that's really been wildly fluctuating so you know we'll see what happens with that eventually now this is a graphic novel that i really love and i used to own it and it, it just bugs me that i don't know what happened to it it, it may have been on uh, when i moved that it got misplaced or maybe i lent it to somebody and just forgot who who got it i really i'm not sure but i really do like the joker or just joker by brian azarello it, it's just amazing the artwork is incredible and it's like the like the grittiest grimy version of Joker that you could imagine even more so than Heath Ledger's interpretation of the character just a really gritty version of the Joker and I like the um the way that the other characters are done as well in this uh, graphic novel so yeah it's it's amazing and it's just one I got to get back into my collection I don't really I'm not a true comic book collector I mean I don't try to uh preserve the 
quality of them so much I like to actually read them you know and then ones that I'm really a big fan of I do hang on to them and sometimes I do reread them as well and this is definitely a story I would like to read again so these figures here this is going way back with quantum mechanics this is actually uh when I mean now everybody says Q-Figs but originally they were Q-Pops and uh, quantum mechanics changed that I think that's for kind of obvious reasons there but uh yeah these are uh, Big Bang Theory uh, Q-Figs or I think they might actually say Q-Pops on the box I'm not even sure I'm not, I haven't actually seen the packaging but um some people may not even be aware that these are a thing because uh, some people kind of got into uh, Q-Figs kind of late so yeah I would definitely like to get these and by the way there are some other older uh, Q figs or Q pops, whatever they're called, by Quantum Mechanics that are pretty impressive. There are some Ghostbusters ones I've seen that are very impressive. Some Star Trek ones. I'm not a big Star Trek fan, but I mean they are out there. So yeah, Quantum Mechanics. You might want to kind of look back into what they've done in the past because they have done some really cool figures. And I'm still a, a big fan of Big Bang Theory. As a matter of fact, I need to really get um, season nine on video because I have all of the other ones. I definitely want to get season nine as well. So the Disney Afternoon Mystery Minis, Cat D actually put these on her list as well, and I'm doing the same because I really love the look of these. I'm, I'm I just haven't gotten any yet. I'm, I'm constantly uh, trying to wrap up trades and then um, focusing on things within my channel, giveaways and whatnot. So uh, yeah, I just haven't gotten around to getting any any of these yet. But I really would like to get some because I especially want to get uh, Chip and Dale, uh, Scrooge McDuck, and definitely Darkwing Duck. You know, so uh, yeah, that'd be very cool to get some of these. And I think Kat mentioned this as well. Something I, I also would love to do one day is to open up a full case. I've never done that on my channel before just because I never really had the money to go ahead and do that. And like I said, I'm constantly kind of tying my money back up into other things, including my channel. But yeah, I think that would be a lot of fun to actually open up a full case at some point. And this would actually be a great one to do at some point. Um, Who knows? Maybe I'll wait a while and see if I can find a case at a cheaper price if I can't get any of these uh, anytime soon so this item here this is by cryptozoic I really do like the company cryptozoic even though I think some of their designs I mean they're not they're not flawless you know they're not perfect but they do uh, put out some interesting products and uh, this is something that's kind of recent here and I actually have seen these in stores As a matter of fact they're at my local Walmart but um, they run ten dollars each right now and I mean I like them I just don't in but I, I know me, I'm not going to get just one. I kind of look at them like I want all of them together. So, uh, you know, that's looking at over $50 basically with tax. So that's why I'm kind of waiting. Um, I'm not going to get these just yet, but I definitely want to add these to my collection. You all let me know what you think about these. I'm sure some of you don't like these, but, you know, maybe some of you do. But, yeah, the Tiki's by uh, Cryptozoic, you know, the, the DC figures here, I'm very much interested in them. And um, I do like the look of them up close, even though some of them had kind of rough paint jobs. But there were enough in the case to where I can kind of pick and choose and make sure, you know, I get good quality of the character. So, yeah, I'm, I definitely plan on getting these. I just got to wait a little while. Now, DC, uh, their, their statues, I really am a fan of them, especially the black and white ones. And then they have some of the uh, black and white series, but they then have red accents to them, especially the Harley Quinn ones. There's a couple of Harley Quinn ones that are black and white, but then have touches of red. And I think the one in the middle here, her with the roller skates on, is... I want to say it's the most recent release of uh, the Harley Quinn statues, you know, within that series. So, yeah, I really like all these, especially the Scarecrow. I've been wanting that one for the longest time. I hate that I didn't go ahead and get it because I think the price has kind of gone up on it, you know. So that's something I'll have to uh, maybe try to put money to the side for and get eventually. But, yeah, I really like all three of these. And um, there are a lot more black and white statues out there. If you're interested in these, you know, look them up, black, black and white statues by... DC collectibles you'll see some amazing work done with those and there's like a ridiculous number of Batman figures um, or Batman statues whatever you want to call them done in this style as well so Kota Bakuya which I hope I'm saying that name at least somewhat correct um, these statues here they actually are pretty reasonably priced I've seen them priced from as low as $45 but then you have some that go up into like the $80 range and even beyond that but 
yeah, the, the prices are kind of all over the place, but I really do like the look of these. The Wolverine one, um, I know that my local comic book shop, uh, Power Comics, which I hope everybody uh, watching this has checked out the Power Comics video that I did a couple weeks ago. But um, they used to have the Wolverine. I'm not sure if they still have it anymore. That's definitely one I would like to get. And I, I like all these. These are some characters I really like. So you see uh, they have um, here the Bride, of course, from Kill Bill. And I think she looks excellent there. I used to have the Pop figure, but... Really, I thought the pops from Kill Bill were just too kind of plain Jane, so really didn't worry about keeping that series. And then Agent Venom, I really like the look of this Agent Venom here. Uh, it's really tough to find a good version of Agent Venom from any company, but I think that character is going to increase in popularity, especially because Tom Hardy uh, tweeted out a picture, and I was so happy to see it because just a little bit of his costume that it showed, to me it kind of implies that there might actually be... Um, sort of a take on Agent Venom within the movie. I really hope they do that, and it looks like that's what they might be going for because he has sort of like military gear on, so that that's getting me hyped for that movie now. You know, hopefully Sony will not be Sony and actually do well with it. But then also you see you're all the way to the right. This is actually a play on Chucky. Um, you know, so a female basically there, a woman dressed up like Chucky. So they have like these uh, female versions of horror characters because they also have... Um, I know they got Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees. I'm not sure if they did anybody else, but I really like the look of them. And if you really pay attention there, you can see that she's actually holding a knife behind her back. So this is definitely my favorite of the ones that I've seen. The Freddy and Jason, they're okay. But I, I really like this one mainly because of how like she's winking and then she has a knife behind her back. I just really like that. It, it really gives off the vibe of Chucky. So second here, going back to comics again, Saga, I really want to read this and, um, you know, especially during the holidays when I get some time off, I, I really want to get into um, reading some more and I, I really know nothing about Saga and that's actually part of the, my appeal to it is because I don't know what's going on with it and I want to learn and I know that the pop figures are coming out um, early next year so, you know, if I, if I get into reading it and I really enjoy it then... You know, maybe I will be interested in picking those up. Uh, I do like the designs, but I'm not really into picking up uh, pop figures for characters I'm not familiar with. So that's why I want to read and, you know, see if I really do enjoy it. And then I may consider getting those. But yeah, Saga is pretty much at the top of my reading list almost. But let me get to my number one here. And this is Dark Knight's Metal, which I'm amazed I'm not hearing more people talk about on YouTube and stuff. I, I think this is just uh, amazing what they're doing here. So if you're not familiar with Dark Knight's Metal, what's going on is basically there are different versions of Batman. You know, they have the, the multiverse going on within uh, DC. I mean, that's that's kind of common with comics anyway. But uh, within DC, they have these different versions of Batman that are basically mashups with other characters. So like you see here all the way to the left, the Red Death, which I'm really kicking myself for missing out on that comic when it first released. But um, yeah, the Red Death is basically a cross up between an alternate version of Batman and then he gains the powers of the Flash. And uh, you know, all these characters, they're they're pretty evil, you know, and I, I just like all that's going on here. I do have a couple of them. I did get the um the Batman Who Laughs, which is this crazy mashup between Batman and the Joker. It there's some amazing art of that character. Look that up if you haven't um seen it yet. It's pretty amazing. Again, that's the Batman Who Laughs. And then I think I had maybe two of the others, but I've missed out on several of these, including the Devastator. The Drowned, uh, which by the way, let me back up. The Devastator is a cross up between an evil Batman and basically um, Doomsday. Then the Drowned is actually a female. It, th this is an interesting character because it's like a female Batman mashed up with Aquaman. <laughs> and then um, the Dawnbreaker is like a mashup between like an evil Batman and Green Lantern. So th this it sounds crazy, but from what I've read thus far, it's just very cool and uh yeah, I'm really hoping to get some of these um, individual comics, but I know I'm going to miss a lot of the story, and when, when they eventually do a collected edition, then I will grab that and catch myself up. So I want to go ahead and tag some people, um, you know, and that's my full list there. And like I said, I hope you saw something that is new to you and that you're, you know, interested in. Like, I just think people should try to expand their collections. I know that a lot of people are, are like me. You can't really afford to do a lot 
at one time but i still think you know when you can afford it it's just cool to kind of mix up things with your collection um but you see here i'm going to tag a couple of people and i decided to go with four people here and i really want you all to support these channels if you're not already familiar with them please check them out what i'll do for each one of these youtubers is link a video down below Please go check out the video. You like what you see. Please make sure that you give them, you know, a subscribe. You know, subscribe, give them a like, give them a comment, all that good stuff. So Pug Love Productions, uh, very cool guy. He comments on a lot of my videos. I've been watching his videos for a good while. Um, you know, just very, really, really nice guy. I mean, that's all I can say about it. And I do like his content. So, you know, of course, I'm going to link him down below. Captain Charisma, I've just recently gotten familiar with. I think, um... I want to say his channel is relatively new. I know he, uh, you know, comments on my videos a lot, but uh, you know, he's he's out there doing his thing, hunting, making some good finds. So yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, Papa Funk, I, he's uh he actually um asked me to check out his channel, which I'm fine with people doing that. And I gotta say this real quick because I just had another incident with this. I'm not okay with people trying to like advertise on my channel, which you know YouTube usually catches that and treats it like spam anyway. You know, so I don't like anybody trying to, you know, like advertise on my channel or put a link for a video. But, he, you know, he was respectful. He was cool about it. He's like, you know, could you please check out my channel? I did so and I was impressed right away. And it's really his enthusiasm for collecting. Like he's just starting up. He's really into it. He's already got some great finds. Very impressive. I like the editing in his video, his storytelling. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of great things happening with this channel. And he needs some encouragement too to get out there and do hunting videos as well. So I want you all to give him some encouragement with that. At the time of this recording, I think when I last checked, he was under 10 subscribers. I think he had 7 and then he went to 9. Maybe he's beyond 10 right now. But he, he needs our support. So you all make sure that you go check him out. And um, you know all these YouTubers, let him know FM since you own over there and just show them some support because it is very much deserved and then Zombralina here I have shouted her out before and um I tagged her uh, in another tag as well but I'm just very interested to see what she would do with this uh, tag so that's why I'm tagging her again because I think she will have a lot of fun with this so yeah big shout out to uh, Zombralina as well and of course I got to give a shout out again to Cat D for tagging me in this this was actually a uh, fun to do at first it was difficult to come up with 12 items but then i actually had to kind of pare it down so it was kind of interesting to do this so yeah like i said this was a fun tag i hope you all enjoyed the video like i said please follow the links down below and i will put a link for um one of cat d's videos as well as a matter of fact i'll put a link for her tag video you know she started this up so um yeah please check them out show them some support let them know i sent you on over there and that'll be very much appreciated. But yeah, thank you all for watching this. And I will talk to you all again real soon.